I'm Wade Gibbs, and in this toolbox video for Nature Research, I'll be demonstrating how to get started with Bioconductor in the cloud. Bioconductor is an open source platform for computational molecular biology that consists of almost 1,500 software tools, more than 300 experimental data sets, and some 900 annotation tools, all tailored to work seamlessly together through the R statistical programming language and to work within the RStudio integrated development environment. In this video, I'll briefly demonstrate how to set up Bioconductor on an Amazon cloud server, log into RStudio running on that server, and then use a peer-reviewed workflow from f1000research.com to mine RNA sequence data to identify differentially expressed genes. The Bioconductor website at bioconductor.org contains step-by-step -step instructions for installing Bioconductor either to a local computer or using a pre-configured Bioconductor machine image to an Amazon cloud server or a Docker container. You'll need to set up an Amazon Web Services account if you don't already have one, and also sign up for the Elastic Computing Cloud service. Once you do that, you can launch the Amazon Web Services console. You can then use the console controls to set up a new Amazon cloud server, which Amazon refers to as an instance. The next step is to copy the Amazon machine image code from the Bioconductor website and paste it into the appropriate form on the Amazon console. This will pre-configure your server to contain a large subset of the Bioconductor software tools and annotation packages. You can find step-by-step -step instructions on setting up the Amazon instance on the Bioconductor documentation page, and Amazon itself also offers extensive documentation on using and sharing Amazon machine images. Click the Launch Instance button to start the server running, actually boot up the software, and then copy the public IP address from the console and paste it into a new browser tab. You can then use the credentials found on the Bioconductor documentation page to log into RStudio running on your newly created cloud server. You'll see a four panel display in RStudio. You enter programs on the top left panel or can enter single command lines on the command line console in the bottom left panel. You can see variable values for variables you create in the top right and files or plots that you create in the bottom right panel. A good way to explore the capabilities of Bioconductor is to use one of the in-depth task-oriented workflows that have been published on the Bioconductor website or on F1000 Research. For this demo, I'll be using a workflow published by Michael Love and colleagues that demonstrates how to do gene-level differential expression analysis of RNA sequence data. This workflow has been peer-reviewed and updated to work with the current version of Bioconductor even though it was published years ago. It uses a data set called Airway that was taken from the cells of asthma patients who were treated with a glucocorticoid steroid as well as matched controls. With just a few simple commands which are given in the workflow, you can load the data into memory and then explore its structure. Loading a software package, such as the RSAM tools package for importing and analyzing binary alignment files, is similarly straightforward. One of the productivity enhancing features of RStudio and Bioconductor is that as you start typing command, uh, pop-up menus show you the syntax for that command, and you can hit tab to autocomplete it so you don't have to type the whole thing. Also you can click on these pop-ups to get full documentation on the function and its parameters and use. The use of specialized data structures for genomics across many different bioconductor packages makes it easy to pass data from one to another, for example, to load in a reference table and assign ensemble uh, exon IDs to sequences. One of the challenges of learning to use Bioconductor is learning about these data structures and internalizing them so that you don't have to look at them up each time. However, it is easy to find documentation without leaving RStudio, and in particular to use what are called vignettes, or short how-to introductions to each package that provide typically a sample use case and uh, can step you through the process of becoming familiar with that package. Another strength of Bioconductor is the ability to quickly make 
uh, publication quality charts and graphs to do uh, basic analyses such as counts and statistics on your data sets. As you make your way through a published workflow, you might come across packages that are not installed as the normal part of the Amazon machine image, and so you have to install them yourself. This is easily done in RStudio. You simply go to the Packages tab in the lower right panel, click the Install button, type the name of the package you're looking for, and install it. Now that I've installed the P heat map library, I'll follow the steps in the workflow to plot a heat map of the Poisson distance between gene counts and samples taken from treated and untreated patients. A wide range of charting packages are available for Bioconductor that allow you to pretty quickly make heat maps, scatter plots of course, and to do principal components analysis and charting, and cluster mapping. And analytical packages such as the DEC differential expression analysis package can automate many of the otherwise tedious steps involved in doing these kinds of studies. The command-driven design of Bioconductor is both a strength and a weakness. On the one hand, the interface is not nearly as intuitive as a point-and-click graphically driven interface is as some competing packages offer. On the other hand, the breadth of capabilities and depth of support offered by Bioconductor have gained it a wide adoption within the genomics research community. Combined with the ease and low cost of cloud computing, it's really never been easier to dive into bioinformatics. For more on Bioconductor, check out my Toolbox article in the December 7th issue of Nature magazine.